surface area and volume of composite solids. So sometimes we're given shapes that aren't exactly rectangular prisms or cylinders. They might, they're a combination of uh, those or some others. And we can break them up to find the surface area and volumes. Let's have a look at an example. So we've got a rectangular a rectangle with a triangle on top and let's make it 3D shape by extending it back. So we've really got a rectangular prism with a triangular prism on top. Alright, so this is eight centimeters. 10 centimetres, 5 centimetres, this height is 3 centimetres, and we've got this height is 3 centimetres as well. And we want to find both the volume and the surface area of this solid. Well, to find the volume, we just need to look for two faces that are the same and we find the area of one of them and multiply by the distance in between them. So let's draw in some hidden lines. And hopefully you can see now that this front face is exactly the same as this back face. So volume, remember volume equals the area times the depth or the length. And it's the area of a face that's the same at the front and the back. So we can use this area and multiply by the distance between them, which in this case is going to be 10. So we just need the area of this front face to use for our volume. So our volume is going to be the area of that front face. So that's just a rectangle. So let's put in a bracket. It's an eight by three rectangle plus the triangle on top. Area of a triangle is a half the base times the height. The base of the triangle is eight and the height of the triangle is three. And that's the area of the front face, the rectangle plus the triangle. We need to multiply all of that by the distance in between those two areas that are the same, which is 10. And if we put all that in the calculator, that's going to give us a volume of 360 centimetres cubed. Now the surface area, it's a bit more tricky because we need to find the area of every surface and add it together. So we can see it's made up of quite a few areas. We can do this rectangle at the front, same as the back. Area of this triangle at the front, which is the same as the back plus the bottom rectangle, this side rectangle, which is the same as this side rectangle, this slanted rectangle, which is the same as this slanted rectangle over here. So let's go ahead and find the surface area. So let's write it down. It's going to be two times the area of the front rectangle. So let's say the front rectangle, because it's the same as the back one plus two times the area of the front triangle, which is the same as the back one, plus the area of the bottom rectangle, plus two times the area of the side rectangles, plus two times the area of the slanted rectangles. Okay, so two times the area of the front rectangle, so that's an eight by three rectangle. Might put them in brackets just so we can see things. Two times the area of the front triangle, well that's a half times the base times the height. The base of the triangle is eight, and the height of the triangle is three plus the area of the bottom rectangle, that's an eight by 10 rectangle, 
plus the area of the two side rectangles, well they're both 10 by 3, plus the area of the two slanted rectangles, and they're both 5 by 10, or 10 by 5. We can go ahead and just throw all that in the calculator, or calculate them all individually if you want, and we should get 312 centimetres squared. Let's look at another example, cake looking shape, where it's going to be a cylinder on top of another cylinder. Okay, the radius of the top cylinder is 2 centimeters and it has a height of 3 centimeters. The radius of the bottom cylinder is going to be 4 centimeters and the height of the bottom cylinder is 5 centimeters. And we want to find the volume and the surface area. So we know the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. So it's just going to be the volume of the small cylinder plus the volume of the big cylinder here. So we're going to have pi times the radius of the top cylinder is 2 squared times its height 3 plus pi times the radius of the bottom cylinder which is 4 squared times its height 5. We can do a bit of simplifying here, or just plug it into the calculator, and you'll get 289.03 centimeters cubed to two decimal places. Now let's find the surface area. So we can be smart here because we've got the area of the big circle at the bottom, and we've got this area here which looks to be cut off because it goes around the back here but it's cut off by the middle circle but it's also up here so by combining this small circle and this cutout circle it just equals this one big circle so we've just got two of those to find two of these big circles plus the two curved surfaces so we're going to get 2 times pi times the radius of the big circle, 4 squared, plus the two curved surfaces. The area of a curved surface is pi, 2 pi rh, so we get 2 pi times the radius, let's do the small one first, times 2 times its height, 3, plus the other curved surface, 2 pi times its radius of 4 times its height, 5, that can all go in the calculator, and we get 263.89 centimeters squared to two, to two decimal places. Okay.